Tell us the significance of, of this bond and, and really you know, why do people care about the repayment? Well, this is a local bond. The size of this bond is around 100 million uh, U.S. dollars. Um, I think people are just very closely watching any kind of upcoming maturity of Country Garden. It is the largest developer in China by contracted sales. And um, in particular, different from many of its peers, it's got a significantly large exposure to Tier 2, Tier 3, even smaller cities. Yeah. That's very different from many of the other major developers that may have a larger proportion of their uh, lands, uh, land bank in the bigger cities. And since they scrapped this share placement last week, will they be able to repay uh, you know, these dollar bonds for, for next year. That's the key question, right? What else are you watching out for? Exactly. Uh, Country Garden has a few interests on its dollar bonds coming up due uh, in the next month or so. Um, but there's a key payment uh, next January, which is the thing that people are closely watching. Um, there's a major dollar bond that's coming due next January, and there's no uh, sort of grace period on that principal amount. Um, and before that, you know, people are expecting to see any other ways that Country Garden can raise funds through the offshore channel, whether it's through maybe the loan market or maybe the equity market. Again, even onshore, Country Garden sold a government guaranteed bond last year in the local market. It hasn't been selling anything since then. If people are seeing that uh, recovering financing channel even onshore, I think that will be an encouraging sign as well. Okay, let's, let's just talk scenarios. What if they do fail to pay? You know, how could that impact the market, you think? I think um, Country Garden is a bellwether for the health of China's real estate market. So if it really fails to repay any um, any debt, and I think the market is really pricing in that scenario right now. If you're looking at its bond, right, the next January due one is trading below 30 cents on the dollar. Um, that's that just means people are pricing in that uh, that possibility. I think it, it, first of all, it will try to negotiate with its creditors. It we may not come to a default situation. It it would, could probably try to extend some of its debt. Um, you know, just try to buy time in the meantime. Um, and I think onshore, um, the, the bottom line. Is is they probably wouldn't fail to pay or even um, you know have that default scenario onshore but offshore I think that's a big question mark um, and I think uh, you know one of the possible scenarios would be that it will try to negotiate and extend some of that maturity uh, yeah.